I guess I, I would like to, to answer this question with a, with a story that happened to me a couple of years ago. It was on Tisha B'Av, and I was, I was in a certain camp. I was speaking there on Tisha B'Av, and a counselor from this camp came over to me afterwards. He asked if he can speak to me. And we go into an office, asked if I could borrow an office, and this counselor, every time he was about to talk, he couldn't get words out. And literally, it was like one of the most awkward moments of my life. He just starts crying. This 20-year-old boy crying. I'm sitting there. I, I never met the guy, so I don't know if I could, like, 15 minutes, he's crying, crying, tears. Like, like. finally, he, he takes out his phone, and, and it, was a, it looked like a flip phone. I don't know. He said, this phone ruined my life, ruined my life. I can't date, I can't learn. I, and he takes his phone, he throws it on the floor. And it was obvious um, what, what he was referring to. And I don't know, usually I, I have what to say. And I, 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 like, I, did, I, did, I was like stuck. So I did something very, I, I asked if, I could, if he could excuse me for him, and I went outside. And I quickly called someone who I value his opinion uh, tremendously, the Rebbe Amar of Daniel Kalish, who deals with a lot of such boys. I'm sure uh, many of you heard of him. And a miracle that I got through to him, and he, he says, ask him the following three questions. Ask him what is his connection like to his father. Ask him if he has a best friend. He said to his parents, there's a lot of women here, uh, Ask if he has a best friend and ask him what his connections like to Hashem. He said, I guarantee you he's going to be 0 for 3. He said, his problem is not a phone addiction. His problem is a lack of connection. And I went back in and I, it was a, a two-minute conversation. I'm talking to him. And I said, I have a question for you. And I asked him these three questions. And each one he answered to the negative. He doesn't have a real best friend. He has a very weak connection with his parents. Very fake. Yeah, we get along. We're by the Shabbos table. And he doesn't have a real connection with Hashem. And I think that one of the biggest things as, as, as a Rebbe I see with my own Talmudim is a lack of connection. That, that kids don't feel connected. And we are meant to feel connected. Revolvi wrote a safer called Olam Hayedidus. It's a world of connection. We are people meant to feel connection that demonstrates itself very clearly in, in marriage. And um, that is the goal. And if a person doesn't feel connected, he starts looking for other things to connect to.